and missing some of his best players is not the only thing Steve Hansen has to worry about. Sonny Bill's red card was just one example of the ill discipline shown by his men on Saturday. You can have a yarn too, it's showing off the rest, don't I? No, but he's safe still in the roof. TJ. Have you let the, uh, the game go? What's that, sir? Yeah, have I you have. the incidents in the game yeah. go? Yeah. Have you? Yep. Have you, have you really? Yeah, I have, I promise. I have. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Uh, communication is a big part of my job. I probably do it a little bit more than uh, than other nines. I often get told off for being talking too much, right? <laughs> Refs hate me, bro. Straight up. Straight up. With so many senior players out of contention, Hansen's only choice is to field some of his least experienced players. 20-year-old Geordie Barrett is the youngest member of the squad. Okay, go again, do the same thing. Get yourself balanced so you can give him a good pass. Boys are telling you you've got time, you've got time. Get across more to him if you can, big nuts. Geordie doesn't have to look far for inspiration. Not one, but two of his brothers are in the current All Blacks team. Towering Lock Scott and first five Bowden, who was named World Rugby Player of the Year last season. As soon as I found out, uh, all sort of emotions and just thinking about the opportunity and the potential chance of playing with the two big brothers um, in a black jersey, it was awesome. And the most recent time we all played together was in the back lawn in Pungari, who, you know, on the farm. Okay, let's come on. It was a rural upbringing. We are off a dairy farm. Growing up as a family, everyone sort of got along. It was pretty cool. Everyone kicked the ball around on the back lawn. We saw how hard mum and dad worked on the farm. We all sort of pitched in and helped mum and dad out and going to school every day in bare feet, um, sometimes having to run home from school to help milk the cows. That's all we sort of knew growing up as a kid, so we only really knew one standard and, um, you know, that was to give it your best. You know, we're really um, proud parents and proud grandparents and, you know, the whole community gets behind them down here. They're great ambassadors, you know, for, for Pungaro and, you know, Taranaki and New Zealand alike, you know, so just down-to-earth country boys, you know. Come on. Before he became a father, Kevin used to joke about having an all-black for a son. When I first played for Taranaki, that was back in 86, and everyone at the start there just filled in their profile, you know, their, their wife, their girlfriends, et cetera, their kids, so, you know, sort of ambition in life, and a couple of boys said, oh, I want to be Prime Minister for a day, you know, and someone wanted to fly the moon, I said, well, shit, how about I breed an all-black, you know, so there it was. <laughs> Little did I know. 